Real quick, as I'm editing the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I started a new channel. Um, it's called Walking the Plank. It's my gaming channel. Uh, I did video games on here for most of the time, but I'm moving it over to the new channel. So I want you guys to go ahead, check it out. I got a video coming out uh, Thursday the 24th at noon. I'm going to be uploading more consistently over there. Video games like the Finals, Balloons Tower Defense, uh, Smite, and whatever other games you guys want me to play. So head on over there and let's just hop right into the video. Good morning, y'all. It's me, Pearl Woods, Trail Santiago. Call me what you want to call me. Today, we're going on a little road trip because I want to get a new Pokemon card, right? And that Pokemon card, I want it to be graded and I want to get a nice one. So, I'm going to do what any normal human being would do and drive four hours north out of Illinois into Wisconsin. We're going to be cutting deep Wisconsin. Two lane back roads, beautiful day out. It's 55 right now, high as 75. It is Friday, it's mid-October. We're gonna have a great time. But before we do that, because I'm taking you guys with me, I know that the exhaust on the Royal Star Venture on Kali, it's a little too loud. So the first thing we're gonna do before we even leave is we're gonna swap my Shark Road pipes out for my stockies. So let's go ahead, let's just get, let, let's just jump right into it because I wanna get on the road. So let's do it. All right guys, we got the pipes changed out as you guys can hear. They are much, ow, much, much quieter than they were before. I'm very excited. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be wearing a beanie. I'm going to be wearing that helmet over there. But for the time being, I just want to show off first the Yamaha leather jacket. Second off, I'm just going to show you guys how I'm going to everything set up. Uh, I got the DJI Mic 1. Uh, I'm going to be carrying it right here on the inside of my shirt. Oh, like this. Now you guys can hear me. Um, hopefully the exhaust here is going to make it to it's a little bit better hearing when we go on a road trip because we got a long way to go. Where are we going? I don't know. So let's get all that set up. Uh, in this bag I got some, you know, charging uh, extra things. I'm actually really excited about these new gloves. Uh, I picked them up for like $30 on Cycle Gear. They're Sudici. Um, they're actually women's large, but they fit my man's small to medium hands and actually they fit pretty comfortably. So. Uh, here's the rest of the tools for the DJI mic. In the trunk, I have a 300 watt hour portable charger. Um, a, in case my battery dies, I have a jumper that can work off of this. And B, uh, just to charge the the DJI, to charge anything I might need, you know, for the road trip. Uh, inside my pocket here, I have a dual Catchmon. So we're gonna be able to catch some Pokemons today. I'm just excited. It's a me day today. Uh, the best day of the week are the days that are for me, so we're going to go ahead, uh, get on the road, get Major over here. This is Major. He's got his little beads with him. And then as for the cockpit, uh, I got my backrest with me. Got a little bag in there in case I need it, um, but usually I leave this back until my back hurts. Got that going on. Got the Bluetooth jack set up. Phone right here. I'm ready. It's 11.06 a.m. And I think it's time for us to uh, head out on the open road. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading northwest from uh like west chicago up to uh lake geneva and then from there we're going to take some back roads curve them all the way up northwest northeast um end up hopefully in green bay that's my goal you guys heard it here first if it doesn't happen it's because i got lazy i'll see you guys uh, on the road in just a second all right boys a little bit of an update um we're about 40 minutes away from home right now uh, I always want to make sure, you know, when I'm out on these rides, out doing these adventures, that I'm uh, never too close to my, never close to, uh, never too close to my home. So we're uh, we're a bit of the ways out right now. Uh, we just we were on a two lane, and there was a guy in a white Jetta. He flew in front, went outside of the lane to cut me off. So uh, obviously, when I got back up to him because there really wasn't that many um, there were so many cars in front of us that he, he had nowhere to go he just <laughs> he cut me off and then got stuck in front of the car in front of me which you know I'm giving two or three car lengths because I'm on a motorcycle and so you know I, I'm right behind him the whole time so I'm keeping him more distance because he's a little bit of a suspicious driver and I, I get up to him I'm in the left lane he's in the right lane and I get over there I'm like what's going on he just like fucking flicks me off I'm like bro <laughs> I, it's friday you know it's noon on a friday it, it's it's a beautiful day outside clouds are clear huh? i don't really know why you're acting like this but it is what it is um we're we're just trying to make it out of 
uh, Illinois as fast as humanly possible. Um, usually I take Route 12 uh, northwest, but uh, Route 12 is the worst road ever conceived by humankind. Um, and the reason being is they've just been under so much construction and if, uh, if you've ever been on two wheels or if you've even ever drove before and you've been on those roads when it's just all these lines and you know you're kind of like vibrating over it, you know, uh, it's kind of scary. <laughs> Especially on a big bike like this, you know, it's harder to control that when you're, uh, when the wheel's being forced going all these directions and trying to keep it up, so I, I take it like a 20 minute detour just to get out of the way of that. It's kind of crazy, but uh, yeah, we're just, we're driving, I guess we're taking, what, 31 North? Uh, we're just pulling into Cary, Illinois, Illinois, so yeah, that was, uh, I just want to tell you guys about that silly little goose. I mean, he was probably, you know, a foot and a half from the front right. If he made any sort of, uh, any sort of, like, slam break there, I would have been, I would have been buttered up and toasted, so. Yeah, yeah, face my morality 30 minutes into my ride. How was that? So, we're going to keep going straight. I have not eaten yet today. It is noon, so I'm assuming the first stop we're going to make is somewhere delicious, so get some food, so. Yeah, I'll see you guys when that, uh, when that happens. Alrighty, we've made it to Lake Geneva. I am excited to see what it looks like in the fall. I have not been here in so, so long. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what we got. Um, yeah, I'm excited. We're just gonna, we're not uh, staying here for more than a couple minutes. I'm just driving through. This is gonna be my base point. So we're gonna leave from here, come back here. That's gonna be like a little start stop point here. Uh, we've already done about 70 miles today. I reset that this morning. Uh, maybe a, maybe a few miles in. I think we're probably, we're probably closer to 65, uh, 60 miles. But yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. Um, I'm just very excited to show you the cool roads. That's why I haven't really recorded much up until this point. Uh, kind of boring getting up here. Uh, it's just a lot of traffic. But once we get out of the traffic and onto the open road, I mean, you know, there's not there's nothing really like it. So. Let's, uh, let's get on it. Let's get on it, baby. Um, we're going to pull through. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a little drive through of uh, Geneva. I think we're actually going to be taking a right uh, at the light. That's pretty much where we're going to be going. Um, traffic parking at Lake Geneva is probably the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. Um, Lake Geneva is a, t a town, touristy town, right, uh, right over the border of Illinois and Wisconsin. You're right there, so um, we're actually gonna probably this real quick. Um, it's a small little touristy town. I mean, it's cute. You see, we got the sign here. Um, for you not from the Midwest, it's uh, it's kind of like a. Uh, it's kind of like a smaller Wisconsin Dells. It's kind of like a smaller um, uh, Pigeon Forge uh, is Tennessee. It's another one that's kind of like that. It's one of those touristy, you know, you got you got a lot of outdoor shopping and cute shopping and stuff for the old people. But then you also have like, there is a water park here, but there's also like, you know, stuff to do if you're younger, a lot of cute shops and places to be and go and stuff if you're, uh, yeah, if you're a bit younger, so. They also have go-kart police, which is kind of snazz, but, um, all I know is I am not first. So we're gonna make a turn here. Let's see. Oh, look at that fucking scooter, holy cow. There you go. We'll just get a cute little, this is a cute little place to view the downtown here. Um, You've got a uh, Kilwins over here as well. We've got some restaurants. A lot of people. See, it's a Friday afternoon and this place is packed. Mostly with people old, but you know, it's a nice place to be. Nice place to find yourself. So, um, we're going to uh, pull over and figure out where we're going to go next. Uh, I do. I'm, I do now feel like I'm at the point where I need to eat. Uh, there's a pot belly here and I have a pot belly gift card. So honestly, that seems like the best choice. Uh, so we're probably going to go ahead and uh, 
and do that. But before we do that, we gotta find a place to pull over park. So let's go find a place. All right, so according to my maps, I think what we're going to do today is we're gonna turn, go back left. We're gonna go back left. We're gonna take Broad Street up to the right through these two roundies and up straight. And I think from there we could find some sweet little roads to get on. Uh, head up further north. We're probably gonna head up towards Waukesha. I think that's gonna be our end point. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. We're gonna skip food for now, I guess. Maybe we'll eat somewhere where I don't have to uh, pay for parking. Kind of just, um, we're kind of just cruising on the two lane. You know, we're going, uh, we're going straight north towards East Troy right now. Uh, I'm trying to find a good road. You know, this is this is the fun part of exploring. Is uh, I'm just gonna stay on here, uh, Highway G, I guess, 120 North. Um, we're gonna be staying on this highway for a while, and then if I see a road or if I see something off in the distance, I want to go look at. Uh, we're just gonna go, kind of go and look at it. I see a bike ahead of me. It's uh, on the emergency lane. I hope it's turning right. But uh, yeah, I know we're kind of in just the, the the boring part of Wisconsin. Maybe we'll get up to Devil's Lake uh, today. I know that's beautiful. I haven't been there since I was probably uh, two years old. I don't know, it sounds like eight or nine. Oh, it's a bicyclist. Bicyclist. How oh, awesome. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, look at them getting their wheat done. They're uh, pulling up all the barrels of uh, hay, probably. Barrels of grass. Grass, hay, something. Um, we're gonna cut straight uh, over this bridge. I feel like I know where I am, but I have no idea where I am. I'll be honest with you guys. Oh, uh, gas is under three dollars. Oh, a deli. Oh, a deli. It's kind of really tempting. Do we eat here? The GoPro is at 43%. Actually, I thought it was almost, I thought it was at 20%. Um, it's doing a little bit better than that. Cruise control on a motorcycle is a lifesaver. I mean, it is so nice, so nice. Uh, never really figured out much. I got my music playing. Some, uh, some Cassie, I think it is. But yeah, we're gonna get into the fall. My goal is to get so deep in the trees that all you see is like red and yellow and green and orange everywhere. Like that's my goal. My goal is to get to that point today. Uh, we started really late, which is super unfortunate. We started at about 1130. Um, it is almost one o'clock, which is a problem because sun sets at around, I'm gonna say 530. It's, I think it's closer to 615, 630. But, so sun sets maybe around six. And that's a big problem. It's a big, big problem. The boys, the boys are out today. Hell yeah. Okay, that means if the boys are out, that means I'm somewhere in the right spot. Um, we're gonna take this road. As you guys can see, I'm literally just using the map to kind of see what road I want to go on. So we're just gonna take this road um, north here in a sec and just take it up for quite a bit actually. We'll just see what this road uh, what this road has in store for us. I'm kind of excited. But as you can see, we're obviously not in summer anymore. There's leaves everywhere, so it's good to be careful um, with what you're doing. Um, I wanna stay on Town Line Road here. It says these guys don't stop. Let's see if any of them. It's like a nice little place. There's actually a lake over here, or, a, or a, I guess a, a large pond, if you must, um, on our left here. Camp Alice Chester. 
I mean, look at how beautiful it is outside. We're not even in like, I'm not even gonna say we're necessarily, holy shit. I'm not even gonna necessarily say we're on like the best road, but this is the kind of road I was talking about. I mean, it's just like beautiful, beautiful, you know, colors everywhere, signs, you know, telling me to slow down because we got sharp turns. Um, I mean, it's just beautiful, beautiful. I feel like we're still a little too, suburban uh, but I feel like that's we're gonna change that very shortly hopefully no one comes flying through here on the wrong side of the road because uh, that hurt quite a bit wouldn't it yeah look at that holy cow yeah, this is beautiful it's gotta watch out because remember leaves wet leaves are like ice you really don't want to be uh, going over leaves if you can just the same with grass just don't forget that anything Anything crunchy and small, like leaves, grass, that kind of stuff. Uh, when that gets wet and soaked, it's you lose all of your traction. And take it from uh, take it from somebody who uh, doesn't like losing traction. Uh, you don't want to lose traction. Uh, this is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. We're still going through, you know, people's yards and stuff like that. But I mean, this is more like the kind of stuff I was looking at doing. You know, just cruising around, seeing what, seeing what we got to go. There you go. My clutch sounded like it was not happy with being in fifth gear at 35. Honestly, I don't really blame it. Let's slow down over this blind hill. Nice, got very lucky there. That's that's like the worst place to park on the planet, right there. UPS driver. Let's see. Yeah, guys, I just wanted you guys to be here with me and experience this. Cause you know what? This is beautiful. The further we get out of the cornfields, the further we get into the the, the fun in it. There's E going east and there's J going north. I think we're gonna stay uh, going north here. Um, when we get too close to uh, the city, we'll probably try to cut around it going west, uh, around Waukegan, Waukegan, as they like to say. Uh, they as in people from uh, Wisconsin, they like to bully Wisconsin. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful road and I'll uh, see you guys for lunch. Deuce! Alrighty, it's lunchtime. We've done 110 miles. We're at uh, Cousin Subs. This bike's good to go. I just wanted to show you guys the mileage. Um, feeling pretty good. I'm very hungry. Oh, very hungry. But other than that, I feel great. We just got to charge up the GoPro, charge up everything, and then uh, get back on the road. So, you'll see it when, you'll see it when we get it. Man, oh gosh, the hair is doing the thing it usually does when I wear a helmet. Right. At least the jacket looks good. I think I'm going to take my joggers off too, because I am hot, hot, hot. All right, food is eaten. We made it out. We got our food. I'm so happy. I feel good. I feel full. Oh, I took my jeans off. I feel more comfortable too. We're gonna head. Uh, we're gonna keep heading up north. I think we've got time. We've got tons of time. So we're probably gonna head up north towards uh, Fond du Lac, Fond du Lac. We're about an hour away there. It is just a straight shot up. So we're probably just going to go ahead and get on the road, head up to Fond du Lac and see what's up there. I've never been up there before, so 
Today is the day to go explore and see what we've got while it's so, so beautiful out today. I mean, it is, it is just so, so nice. Let's go ahead and do that. We're just gonna head out of here, take a right and enjoy our time. Let me uh, get out of this intersection, get out of this area. And we'll, uh, we'll be on the road pretty soon, I'm excited. Let me uh, tune in with you guys when we get on the road. Downtown here, um, very beautiful, very beautiful downtown. Uh, downtown what? I'm not 100% sure. I thought we just left Okamogamokamokamok. But I think I have to take this left. I hope. Yeah, I have to take this left. And then once I take this left, uh, I should be able to stay on the whole way through. But yeah, this is very beautiful. Look at that water. Holy cow. Uh, the annual model railroad open house. First Saturday in November. Maybe I'll come back. Look at some open model railroad trains. Which if you guys don't know, model railroad trains were like my favorite thing when I was a kid. I used to love I used to love model trains. I mean those were I used to just love trains in general. Trains are just like the most beautiful thing on the planet. Holy cow, this is beautiful. Um sign on trying to see what town we're in. Don't exactly know what town we're in, but we're in a pretty one. There's a lot of Pokemons, a lot of Pokestops. So it looks like we're actually going to be hitting the bridge uh, where, the, where the two lakes, the two ponds, the two rivers combine. Um, that, uh, it's beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful. This, this is somewhere I'd want to live, you know? Nice little town like this. It's a beautiful area. You know, look at this. Wow. Holy cow, boys and girls. Oh, no, we're still in Okamokamokamok. We're still in Okamokamokamok. There's a little dam. Oh, taller lake. Taller pond going into bigger lake. Um, I think we just keep taking this. Uh, but yeah, look at how beautiful it is outside. Holy cow. I and mean, this is nuts. Oh my gosh. This is just beautiful. Here's some big houses too. I can't, I can't stop looking all over the place. Almost home foundation. Almost home, that's how I came here. That was how I came to the States, was almost home. Shout out my, shout out my, uh, shout out my almost home people for, for really looking out. Looking out for those who need. Yeah, man, it's beautiful. But it looks like we're uh, leaving the pond, the river. We're just gonna be heading straight for about uh, another 50 miles or so. So I'll see you guys at the other end of the 50 miles. Alrighty, my beautiful family. We are uh, pulling through right now. We're doing pretty good. We're making good time. Just wanted to appreciate how beautifully paved this road is. I mean, look at this. We're just going. We're going outside of what town did we just drive through? Teresa. Ter Terrasa. Terrasa. We just drove out of Terrasa. Um, we're heading into La Maria, La Maria, Wisconsin. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful world. Look at this. Paved black. Red trees on the side. Corn, hay, wheat, whatever the heck that is on the right. Yeah, I got the church going on. Um, I mean, this is just they're beautiful. And the cool thing about the, these Wisconsin flatland kind of plain areas is you do get hills every so often. And then you get to see all the way off the distance. Like, you look over straight ahead, you got windmills mile smile through two, three, four miles away. Off to the right, you can see off five miles away. You know, it's beautiful. Beautiful. We're at 150 miles so far. We're really, uh, we're really squeezing as much content out of these miles as we can. Because huh? I think as soon as we get to Fond du Lac, we're going to walk around for a little bit and shop. Maybe buy a t-shirt. And then uh, we're going to head east. And so we're gonna head east through Milwaukee. I think like right in between, uh, right in between Fond du Lac and Sheboygan. If we head, if we cut south, right in between there, like kind of right in the middle of West Bend. I think we're gonna be able to get into a lot of uh, wooded areas because all the woods are on the right of me. Um, we're gonna have to end up. I think we're gonna take um, here to 
Sheboygan and then cut out of Sheboygan south uh, or west, south, southwest, uh, we're gloves boys, southwest straight down um, and then once we get back into the Milwaukee area we'll get into Milwaukee and then take Milwaukee down to Chicago and uh, yeah we'll call it a day or actually Milwaukee down to Kenosha probably and I'll probably end it there for the day. Uh, but yeah this has been an amazing experience I'm really enjoying it. No limbs on the bike, no limbs on the bike. This bike is planted as crazy. I've never, I've never gotten to experience how planted these bikes are. You know, you're sitting there, you're wobbling it around. Like, it's crazy how planted these, uh, these bigger cruisers are. It feels great. My legs are still in so much pain. I stretched at the cousins. I just, I don't know. My legs hurt so, so bad. I think I slept on the guns. But uh, we're heading into town now. Let's slow down a little bit. since what 11 11 15 11 30 so 12 30 1 30 2 30 three and a half hours it's taken for me to get all the way up here uh, it's been great gas has not gotten cheaper which is annoying we're all the way yeah we're gonna be cutting all the way you know Sheboygan area uh, and then uh if I spot if I see a cemetery I'll pull over stop there as well but if not I'll see you guys in 20 minutes for uh, Fond du Lac. Fond du Lac. Fond du Lac. We've made it to Fond du Lac. Fond du Lac. Fond du Lac. Look there's even a sign. Fond, Fond du Fond du Fond du Fond du Lac. Look at this. Look at this. Oh that's a cute little shop. Yeah, we'll hang out. How's gas doing? 10 cents down. We're good. I'm happy with that. We're just going to drive all the way straight to the water. Uh, Lake, what is it called? Lake Wanabagi. Lake, Lake Wanabagi. We're going to go all the way straight there. And then from there, we'll see if we can find like a little downtown area, shop a little bit. You know, there's, there's Fond du Lac, Fond du Lac, Fond du Lac. And then there's North Fond du Lac. I don't know which side's better. Um, oh, there you go. Downtown District, Historic, Fairgrounds. Okay, we want to do Dogtown and Lakeside for sure. We do not want to be, we do not want to be at the mall. There's a Cousins here too. I've never seen a Cousins before. Uh, in a caribou. That's my dad's favorite place. Aww. My dad loves caribou coffee. Um, yeah, we definitely don't want to be in like some mall area. Look at this, Gillies. Gillies frozen cut. That is so cute. There are so many places that are still open that are like not so many. There are there are quite a few places that are open that are like that. I, I love it because like you know <laughs> it's like uh, it's you know it's good to hold on to the memories, the old memories. You know. I'm so tired of everything looking so modern and boring. But uh, Fond du Lac, we'll see what this place is. I've never, yeah, I've never been here. I've never really, I've definitely heard of the place. I've heard of people who have stayed here, been here, uh, maybe lived here, I think even. So I'm, I'm really curious to see what the uh, Fond du Lac downtown experience is like. I'm excited. Remember, we're here for a Pokemon card. So we're gonna have to walk out with one and, and we gotta find like a game store. I want one of the sealed ones, you know? I got a, I got a Pikachu. It's a 2000 Jungle Series 
uh, Chinese Pikachu because I need to get some points with the regime, you know? And uh, it's like a four and a half. It's a pretty bad card. According to them, but to me, it's a 10. To me, it's absolutely perfect in every single way. And I'm very excited to kind of see what we got going on here. This is a day trip, so I still have to get all the way home. Um, we're about 160 miles away. Uh, if we keep it up at this pace, I'm not getting home till like 8.30 or 9. So we're really gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit on our way back. We can't really, uh, we can't diddle daddle in here for too long, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, as of now, this looks like literally every other town in the hill. Yeah, this could be Detroit, honestly. I don't mean to say this in a bad way, uh, but the outskirts of the outskirts of any midwestern town just reminds me of Detroit for some reason. I spent like a, I spent like a month there. It was uh, definitely uh, one of the times of my life. It was around Halloween too. Holy cow, it was crazy. All right, we've made it to downtown Fond du Lac. The sheriff has pit vipers on. Goodness gracious. Um, got some bikies. In case this one breaks, at least I know I can find something to get me home. Uh, downtown Fond du Lac. We have the Shiloh, Shia LaBeouf, Team Jack Sports. Like a little department store here. Okay, I mean, this is definitely a downtown. Got a biker. Biker girl, biker girl. No way, no way. So awesome. Love to see it. One of my, uh, one of my friends is hopping on next year. She's going to start riding. I'm super excited for her to take her lessons. It's going to be like next May. I think I got to take mine too because my insurance discount expires. Uh, it's every three years you have to take a safety school. I'll have to look into whether it is my third year that I take it or it's every three years is in like my fourth year. I'm not sure. Let's see. We should still be going towards water. Tanning salon. I got a pizza store. This is a cute area. You know what? I always make fun of Midwestern towns for just having a lot of stuff that uh, is closed down, like like this, right? Like an empty building. But it's not even empty. It's a sport. It's a hobby. Actually, you know what? That might be where I. I might even want to go there. It was, looks like it was more sports related, but. Police station, library. Yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with the amount of stores that they have down here. You know, that, that's always the thing. You know, you never see, all this stuff's always like, you know, empty and closed and there's nothing here, but I'll have to see what, uh, what it actually looks like as we get closer though. Cause we're getting closer into the downtown. We're about a, a mile away. I don't need that map anymore, but I do want to make sure my Pokemons are going. Good thing you checked, eh? Yeah, I want a Fond du Lac shiny. Let's see here. Atlas Gaming, perfect Pokemon. Perfect. Let's, uh, let's park in front of the Axelon place. Might be able to go get our first Pokemon card. My Fond du Lake Pokemon card. Oh. Turn it off in gear. Oh. Nice. Alrighty. Let's uh let's get off the bike and go see what Pokemon cards we have. I will be right back. But yeah, look. Major made it all the way to Fond du Lac. Oh, she's getting blown around a little bit. But other than that, we're pretty good. Copper cock. <laughs> I hear a bike. But look what we got. Wait, where's the bike? MT-09. Look what we got. We got a Neo Genesis first edition Pikachu. It's a near mint too. And look how cute he is. I have another Pikachu too. This so one CGC had an eight, so almost double what my first card was. And I paid less for it than I paid for that card. So yeah, this thing's beautiful. I'm so happy with it. Look at that. Just leave it right there, huh? Be a cool place for it. Well, I'm gonna get this thing packed up. We're gonna head back on the road and uh, 
get some photos of the bike and then we're out of here. I mean, we, we have to move, move quick, my friends. We have to move very quick. Yeah, we're just kind of coasting. Look at that out in the distance. Holy cow. Nice couple, nice couple of bowls, couple of bowls. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Yeah, let's get over to that lighthouse and then uh, park over to the lighthouse and then we'll, uh, from the lighthouse, we'll, we'll take a, like maybe a 15 minute break here and then we'll head home. I'm very excited, very excited. This was very much well worth it. This is... Jet ski. Isn't that crazy? He's on a jet ski in like late October. That is nuts. Let's see if we can get a good picture here. It's a kid playing in it. Oh, we won't get hit. You can go up there. I didn't think you could go up there. Oh, she's in the shade. Silly girl. This is beautiful. Yeah, let's see if we can get um, her more in the sun here. And then from there, we'll... Uh, park over there somewhere. Maybe I will park here. Hope you don't hear my totally copyright free Dua Lipa music in the background. I'm gonna park like I got my boys pulling up. Oh. Or that's Rita Ora. My bad, my bad. It's Rita Ora. Jeez. All right. Let me take a quick little break, and then uh, from there, I'll see you guys later. All right, we're inside the lighthouse here. Climb up to the top, Lake Winnebago. Look at this. Let's keep going. Oh, what I needed was my legs to stretch. That's a good way to do it. 60 foot slide. Whoa. Wow. Okay. There's enough stairs. There's enough stairs. <laughs> We're almost up. We almost made it to the top. And look at this. how beautiful this is. There's the bike. We did it. We're doing fantastic today. Whew. I just wanted a Pokemon card. That was my only goal today. We ended up being uh, all the way up here. Could not be any happier. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break. We get back on the road, you'll be the first to know about it. Boy.